Manual for Survival is a book by Kate Brown. It asserts that the United Nations and the Red Cross and the World Health Organization covered up evidence linking the 1986 Chernobyl nuclear accident to hundreds of thousands of deaths. When pressed by Michael Schellenberger, Is it okay if I record? Sure, that's fine. To account for how her book's assertion differs from the world's leading radiation scientists and hundreds of peer-reviewed scientific papers, Kate Brown responded that Michael Schellenberger should talk to Dr. Helen Caldicott. You can call Helen Caldicott. Reporter George Mombayo experienced such a discrepancy in 2011 and challenged Dr. Helen Caldicott on her assertions. The biggest medical to conspiracy cover up the and cover-up in the by history radiation. of medicine, George. George Mombayo determined Dr. Helen Caldicott was misleading people on the impact of the Chernobyl accident. Dr. Helen Caldicott's response was that George Mombayo must have a brain tumor. He's either got a cerebral tumor or he's had a psychotic breakdown. That's my clinical diagnosis. Dr. Helen Caldicott promotes books by pitching them as her prescription for survival. Which is a prescription for survival. She can do that because as of 2019, she still holds the title doctor. One of the pieces of evidence Dr. Helen Caldicott shows to audiences is a supposed map of Fukushima fallout. This is the nuclear fallout released by the Australian Radiation Service. And I've got a slide here, the fallout from Fukushima. It is completely bogus. The Australian Radiation Service did not create this map. They've clarified this point repeatedly. It should have been immediately obvious to Dr. Helen Caldicott that the map is an internet hoax. It shows quantities of radiation which would have killed half the people living on America's west coast back in 2011. This is not a gotcha moment on some minute detail. These numbers are completely insane. The map was debunked immediately in 2011 by ARS and Snopes when it began circulating online. Yet, Dr. Helen Caldicott continues to show it year after year. Greens, activists, journalists, authors, and Kate Brown should not trust Dr. Helen Caldicott as a reliable source of information.